Hello, beautiful souls. I was in the middle of doing some readings today, oracle card readings for the big harvest super moon in Aries. I'm an Aries. There's so much energy flowing through right now. I started to get this pounding headache. Well, when I get a headache, it's messages. I no longer have headaches. Headaches have meaning for me. I venture to say for most of us. So I had two messengers. One was Green Tara. We're going to be doing some new services together. That's not what this video is about. The other is from Mother Sophia. And that is what this video is about. It's not just the ones that I spoke to recently about this topic. So try not to get too triggered. But it is encompassing a broader reach of the collective that are experiencing the very same issues. And Mother Sophia wants this message recorded and sent out because she's tired of seeing the same thing play out over and over again. And that we as a collective are not making better choices. So let me get into this. We were all taught, most of us, that you give. You are a good Samaritan. You help others. That is how you honor Christ inside you. And that you give to your family. You give to your children. You give to your community. You give to your church. You give to your, your job. You give, 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 give. And whenever you think that you can't give anymore, they want you to give more. So is that working out well for you? I know in my own experience, it did not work out well for me. I am not judging you. I am simply saying, look at the past and see how that has affected your now. When we habitually give compassion, energy, love, forgiveness, kindness, healing, um, gifts, blessings, our time to anything and everything outside of us, where do you think that leaves you and your needs, you and your energy, you what do you have left for you? You probably don't even think about it. In some of your weakest moments, you may shed a tear because you feel spread too thin. Or you may have more guilt because you can't do enough for everyone else. And that's the point of what Mother Sophia's message was to me. It's basically, look how many people do not have it to give and the tears that they cry is not for themselves. It's for others, which inherently sounds beautiful. But when you have self-sacrificed your health, your sanity, your peace, your calmness, your vortex for the sake of everyone else to do better and you keep choosing everyone else. You keep showing up for everyone else, but you don't show up for yourself. It is now like it's been coming up with energies. Galactic races have been trying to get us to wake up to this for a very, very long time. But Mother Sophia is like, enough is enough. You have got to play this out in very simple terms. If you feel in your physical form, that you're sickly, that you're achy, that you're hurting, that um, you, you couldn't possibly sleep enough. You're so fatigued. You're so tired. You feel so um, spread between here, there, and yonder. All of those are signs that you have been ignoring the most important person in your life. And that is you. And I don't say that 
because I want you to be a narcissist. It's very different. It's very different. As myself, for an example, my career in the matrix was bedside nursing in critical care. I showed up, I did my work to the best of my ability. I gave a lot of myself to every patient, the administration, the staff. I worked overtime. I was empathetic. I gave and gave and gave and gave and gave. And then I gave some more. I gave it to my kids. I gave it to everyone and anything all the time, but I never gave myself that same level of compassion, that same level of empathy, that same level of kindness. To be quite honest, I was very hard on myself. I didn't give myself enough time to rest. I didn't give myself enough time to fully process the things that I were going I was going through in my life. I was very unkind to my body, working multiple 12 hour shifts in succession and then not going to sleep when I got off of work, but driving a couple of hours because, oh, you'll just sleep enough when you die. I was very mean to myself. I was very mean to my matter, to my form for a very long time. And it rebelled with two cancer diagnoses, lots of stress, lots of borderline depression. Um, it was me talking myself out of the body cues and the wake-up calls that my soul was trying to give me. And I consistently picked everyone else in my world, but me. So mother Sophia is fed up with watching us do this to ourselves. This is like a cycle. It's cyclical of destruction because we're not giving from a place that we have excess. Okay. When you're giving everyone else your energy and your love and your compassion and your healing and your kindness, are you? but you're not giving it to yourself, where are you giving it from? It's not fueled by any energy. It's not, it's not propelled forward by your chi because your chi is vanquished. It's a little ember. It's not a bright, beautiful, overflowing flame, which is what it should be. So this is the wake up call. When you're always saying yes to everyone else, when you're always making shit happen, when other people are falling short of their own expectations, when you're always saying, yes, yes, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. And then you have set the precedent that your ego doesn't want you to let anybody down. Your ego doesn't want you to tell anyone no, because you like the accolades. You like the pat on the back. You like to be the savior. Well, this is the newsflash. You are only in control of you. And at the end of the day, beings are pouring their energy into other beings with zero return. Zero return. It's supposed to be an energy exchange. It's supposed to be energy exchange. I'm going to give a certain level of energy and I'm going to receive a certain level of energy back in kind. Positive healing energy, positive healing energy should come back to me in one form or another. But that's not what's happening. It's what should happen, but it's not what's happening. And we're not enforcing that boundary. And we're not having an expectation of health and wellness and wholeness and sanity and love and bliss for ourselves. But yet we cry over it for others. And in moments we cry over it for us, but not for very long because that's selfish. No, it is not. It is not selfish. It's self-care. It's self-love. And it's self-compassion. If you have been, or you constantly are, putting others before you, you have to find balance in that. Am I saying that you do everything for yourself all the time, all the time, all the time, and then you then maybe think about others? No, but there is a balance that we have to hit. And in order for you to find balance, you have to start tapping the brakes. You have to stop going full steam ahead into everyone else's drama and everyone else's plight. They're not even putting the energy into it for their own sake, but there you are again, trying to save someone else when you're circling the drain in health, in spiritual 
health and mental health, physical health, energetic health. We need you to wake up. This is the plea from Mother Sophia. We need you to wake up to your own body cues. Stop dismissing them. Stop ignoring them because you have been for a very, very long time. And the consequences are way more than what you can appreciate in the physical form. Most people have diagnoses that are linked to energy blockages, plain and simple. When the energy blockage is removed, the source of the pain and the heartache and the, and the discomfort is gone. And there's no more need for medication. I've seen this play out time and time and time and time again. The message from Mother Sophia is very, very loud and clear. Stop loving everyone else in your life more than you love yourself. Stop having an endless supply of compassion and kindness and empathy for everyone else in your life and excluding you from the list. Yes, that is unity consciousness to be in that heart space, to be loving, to be kind and to be compassionate, but it has to start at home. It has to start with yourself. If you're not willing to give yourself that level of inner energy, that level of healing, that level of time where the phone is not in your hand buzzing every five seconds and the emails aren't stat, you know, calling your attention that you really truly disconnect from all the people that made them think they cannot survive without you because that's your ego. It's wrapped up in this altruistic acts, but it's your ego that ties you to this constantly saying yes and constantly doing more than what you physically are capable of and that more than what you energetically should engage in. The, the request is that you tap the brakes and you start to find the balance. If you're going to give to anyone in the day, whatever it is, give that to yourself first in a true, genuine way. Love yourself like you have never been loved. Be your own best friend. Have the healing, compassion, and kindness for your own energy, your own body, your own ailments, and be open to energy healing because the other stuff is just pouring gasoline on the fire. They just can't wait for you to come in so they can label you with some other misdiagnoses and give you some toxic petroleum-based pharmaceuticals so that you become a lifelong client until you die. Transition. So no, this is not a warm and fuzzy message. This is your in your face. Stop being your own worst enemy when you want to save other people from their soul contracts. Like that's the other thing. Not everybody comes into this life to ascend. Not everybody comes into this life to have a soul. Some are NPCs, some are organic portals. They only have a micro soul. That's only what they can have. They can't grow um, the rest of their soul. You can't give them what they don't have. Stop it. Stop it. Stop the insanity. All these people that you have fed your entire life, they have gladly sucked all the life that you wanted to give them away from you. They have gladly taken it. And what have they given to you in return? List it, write it down, journal it. When you see it, when you realize what you have done, you have been culpable. Then you got to give yourself love and forgiveness and gratitude for waking up, for being here, for being present, for loving yourself. Apologize for ignoring your body, forgive yourself for ignoring your body and then make better choices. That is the message from Mother Sophia today. And I hope that you hear it. And I hope that you play this message over and over and over again, because some people hear it and they don't make any better choices. As Yeshua has said many times, we are our biggest hurdles. If you truly want to heal, if you truly want to be free, if you truly want to welcome in the gifts, the abilities, and the love of the divine, then you got to make room in your life for that. And that means you got to start doing your shadow work and you got to start healing those old core wounds and you got to stop feeding everybody else before they, you feed yourself.
Hope this message finds you well. And if you need any help, if you want any help, if you want a loving community that can help get you through this, please stop by violetlotusenergy.com. Sign up for your QET session and let's start getting you on the road to healing. Have a blessed day.